Hey Canucks fans, I have seen enough. I have seen the light. I am declaring, I am predicting, I am asserting that Quinn Hughes will be a Norris Trophy finalist this season as the best defenseman in the NHL. He might even win the award outright, but I'm predicting that he will indeed be a finalist, one of the top three vote getters for the Norris Trophy. And yes, the Canucks won 5-2. to two. They beat the Edmonton Oilers. They got their first much needed first victory of the preseason. I was there with my lovely wife, Gail, with my two sons, Sean and Jacob. It was wonderful to see so many familiar faces and meet a bunch of new people in the arena. It was great to see the giant video board. Yeah, there's so many good things about last night. But to me, the biggest revelation, not much of a revelation, but almost a more of a confirmation or an affirmation of just how far Quinn Hughes has improved his game even this summer, how much he's going to be a difference maker. And it, it'll be great. Not only I, I think he's going to take the the honor of being the Vancouver Canucks captain, and that's actually going to launch him into yet another level, another stratosphere of player for the Vancouver Canucks. So uh, full admission, they, they beat a shorthanded Edmonton Oilers team that didn't have McDavid, Dreisaitl, Hyman, among others. But it was still in an NHL, well, half the guys were NHL quality. And Quinn Hughes was dominant. He was dominant. He had two goals. He had one assist. He had, he was a plus two. He had eight shots on goal on in 22 minutes of ice time. Now we've always known that Quinn Hughes was an excellent skater. His edge work is phenomenal. The way he pivots, turns, cuts, the way he walks the blue line, keeps pucks in the way he keeps plays alive at the blue line. His hockey IQ is outstanding. His passing is exquisite. His uh, puck retrievals are great because of his good edge work. And his de- his actual defensive game is getting better every single year. But what I saw tonight was a confidence, a supreme confidence in the way that he got to the net. And we saw it on his two goals tonight. And and he, he, he simply wasn't afraid to, to come down from, from the blue line to come down the boards or to cut to the middle, try forehands, try backhands, try wrist shots, snap shots. He doesn't have a big slap shot, but wrist shots, snap shots, backhanders that we saw that actually went in. So overall, um, I, I just saw a willingness to get to the net. And when Quinn Hughes is confident when he's skating, and he doesn't have to shoot all the time. He sometimes he'll he'll give up, he'll draw a defender in and then make a really good pass to one of his teammates, whether it's on the power play or at even strength. I simply think that with his assertiveness in the offensive zone, I, I really think he's going to even move up to the upper, the highest echelon of NHL defensemen. And I do predict that he will be a Norris Trophy finalist at the end of the season. And he's not that far off. We know that last year, he actually came a ninth in Norris Trophy voting. He got one first place vote, two second place votes, 10 third place, 10 third place. That's not bad. Five fourth place and 12 fifth place. So he finished ninth in Norris Trophy voting last year. We know that Eric Carlson won it. And there was Fox, McCarr, Lindholm, Morrissey, Hamilton, Heiskin, and Darlene ahead of him. And then the year before that, he finished in 13th in Norris Trophy voting. He would no first place, second place, third place, but he did get two fourth place and three fifth place. And we know how, gong, how much of a gong show that season was. Last season was a bit of a gong show too, but he was so much, uh, you know, he was a, one of the lone bright spots of the team over the past two years. We know that because he's been setting records. He's the fastest defenseman to get to 200 assists. He did it in 263 games against Toronto last year in March. And Brian Leach, a pretty darn good defenseman in his own right, did it in 264 games. So Quinn Hughes, the fastest defenseman in NHL history to get to 200 assists. So we know he's a good passer. We know that playing with guys like P.D. Kuzmenko, Miller, Besser, so on and so forth, he's going to rack up the assists. But what I saw tonight was that he can score. And we we heard Rick Tockett talking about the fact that Quinn Hughes has maybe added 15 to 20 miles an hour on a shot. I'm not sure how you can exactly, well, I guess you can measure it, but I'm not sure how Rick Tockett nailed it so, uh, so accurately. But yeah, even if it's just generally speaking, the fact that Quinn Hughes has been working on a shot that he's making a much stronger shot. Again, not the biggest slapper, but it's not just how hard you shoot it, but do you get your pucks through? Do you put them into place to get tipped 
or to, to go right past the goalie through screens. We saw that he was, um, is good at that, is, is using opposing players to, to screen their own goalie. So, yeah, his, not only is his shot better, but I think his decision-making and his confident, confidence and his assertiveness is going to be um, the difference maker this year. And I could see Quinn getting uh, between 15 and 20 goals this season. I really do. I really do. And, and that would be a, a far cry from the from the five goals, no, the eight goals that he got in 2021, 2022. And then last year, I think he only had, um, yeah, he only had seven goals. So he had eight goals last year, two years ago. He had seven goals this year. Add him up together. I think he's going to get at least 15 goals this season. Now, when you look at Quinn Hughes, I've, I've always considered him one of the big five when it comes to the five young defensemen that are all within two years. You have Adam Fox, Kale McCarr, Miro Heiskanen, Rasmus Dahlin and Quinn Hughes. They're all drafted within two years of each other. They're all between 22 and 24 years old type thing. Um, so I I kind of always grouped him in with, with those five. And we know Kale McCarr, he's awesome. He's one of Norris. We know Adam Fox is awesome. He's one of Norris. And even uh, Heiskanen and Dahlin, Heiskanen finished seventh last year. Dahlin finished eighth and Quinn Hughes finished ninth. So they're all kind of always bunched together, these guys. I, I'd say Kale McCarr is kind of, He's kind of um, separated himself as the best of those five. And Adam Fox does have a Norris trophy under his name. So, but I always consider that, you know, that um, that Quinn Hughes was one of, of the, in that group of five. And then you had the older guys like Eric Carlson won it last year, Lindholm, Morrissey, Hamilton, Victor Hedman, you know, all those guys that were a little bit older, Roman Yossi and, and uh, you know, older, more experienced and, and some of those guys have won have won Norse trophies before as well. But but I think this year is the year that he he might not eclipse Makar's level, but I want Quinn Hughes to be known throughout the NHL. I want as as good as those guys, that group of, of five young defensemen like I talked about, of Makar, of Fox, of Heiskanen, and of Dalene. So um, you know, Fox and Makar have their Norse trophies already. Maybe Quinn Hughes is the next of those young group to get one. But like I said, I, I, you know, all parts of his game are really good. And I think if he adds goal scoring, to, and we saw that the, the, the voters like offensive defensemen. That's why Eric Carlson won the Norris last year, even though he's on a horrible San Jose team. But he, you can't deny that Carlson had so many points, 101 points. I'm not saying Quinn's going to get 100 points, but I think he'll get 80 or 85 points. And if 15 or 20 of those are goals, say even 15 of them are goals, then um, I think he's got a really good shot at winning the Norris Trophy and at least at the minimum being a finalist. So Canucks fans, let me know what you think. Am I being too much of a homer? Am I being too optimistic or hopeful based on one on one performance? Or do you, do you agree with me that this could be the year that Quinn takes a, another step in his career development? Let me know in the comments below. We'd love to know what you think. Don't forget tonight I'm doing my live stream at 10.30 p.m. I hope you will join me. And as always, shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovlander, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame members, franchise members. Thanks for your support. And to everyone else, thanks for watching, subscribing, liking the video, and supporting me on this channel. So as always, stay safe. Oh no, on your way out, you can subscribe, like the video, leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership. And I'll see you tonight at 10.30 p.m. And don't forget, leave a comment too. Let me know if you agree that Quinn Hughes could be a Norris Trophy finalist this year. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. God bless, and go Canucks go.